Hello there and welcome back to the Master Moldy channel. As you can see behind me, I've started filling up the BrickLink store. I've got a few days to wait until verification, but there'll be a video on that very, very soon. And if you are new to this channel, because we are still growing at an alarmingly fast rate, be sure to check out the members. Just click on the join button below. You don't have to join, but it will show you all the perks, including at the higher tier, a subscription service that gets you all my instructions for free, which you might be very interested in by the end of this video because one of, if not my most famous, popular, however you want to put it, instructions is Kenobi's mini figure scout Starfighter. Honestly, I think this is one of the better models that I have ever built. This is definitely up there with the 330 second bark speeder, which is another one of my favorite models from my collection. But today, with the anniversary of Revenge of the Sith sneaking up on us, we will be turning this Delta Starfighter into an Eater Starfighter. And if you didn't know the difference between the two of them, the Delta Starfighter is the Dorito crisp shaped one and the Eater is the one that we see in Revenge of the Sith. It's more of a mushroom shape, I guess. You've got the stalk up here and then the giant mushroom head. I've never really thought of it that way, but we will be turning Kenobi's Delta into an Eater after Kenobi's in Revenge of the Sith. And this will be using no extra pieces from the original Kenobi Delta Starfighter set. So if you have that, you won't need to spend a penny. If you don't have that, there are some sales that you can get about a third off at the minute. So definitely check your local stores or wherever you buy your Lego because some of the new sets, I'm sure if you watched my video yesterday, you'll have heard me remark that they're very, very expensive. Not only for what you're getting, but it just seems that Lego Star Wars in particular has had this extra price tag and the prices have risen seemingly out of nowhere. So hopefully the sets next year are a bit cheaper. We are rumored to have a Plo Koon Delta as well, which some people are arguing that is probably an Ahsoka ship. Doesn't really make sense with the other ships we have rumored for January. If you want to know more about that again, become a member and we can talk over on the channel Discord. But I think we'll get straight into building the Delta. I'll take you through a few of the processes I make along the way and hopefully we'll have it finished in no time. And if you are interested in the Gonk army that I have displayed the ships throughout the entire video, including this brand new Gonk Servo from the new Jedi Bob ship that's coming out in August. Check out the video, I'll leave linked on the end screen. Before I actually get around to building Kenobi's Eater, first we do have to break down Kenobi's Delta. I had to do it for the video, I'm not going to go out and buy another set just to build this. I guess the alternate would be building it on studio, perhaps that's something I'll look at doing a few mocks in the future. You can see on screen now this part it was just so difficult to pull it apart but nonetheless in the end i did get it separated and we can move onwards with the destruction but there were a few pieces that i found in the inventory list that i didn't realize were a part of the set in a second you'll see a very poor attempt at trying to show a one by one corner tile rounded off in bright yellow to the camera. Now this is in the inventory list on Brickstore, which I am entrusting over Bricklink. The problem is Rebrickable uses Bricklink for the inventory. And I've seen that when building the 2013 Yoda Chronicles Jedi Temple, for instance. Anyway, I've gone on a long enough tangent. Breaking apart this set was quite a bit of fun because I got to watch a few other videos, such as the recent podcast from Shy. Shy time is my time. I think the podcast is actually called Sitting on a Stoop. Definitely go check that out. And I also quite enjoy watching Brixie's new studio videos while I'm building. So let me know down in the comments below when you are building Lego. Perhaps this is the video you've chosen to watch whilst building Lego. If it is, thank you so very much. And if you watch something else whilst you build Lego, let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to check them out because there's some really good other lego content creators so now that we've parted out kenobi's delta you can see we've got most of the parts the only two parts that i was missing was well is one of these brackets but i do have them in black if i need them and then there was a four by four plate which 
I really need to get around to sorting my plates. But I think we've got enough pieces to make a mini figure scale Eater class Starfighter. You can see it's not too big and I'm really excited for this because I think the cockpit used in Kenobi's Delta, this piece right here, is a much better size for a minifigure scale ETA. But I don't know how it's going to look once it's done, especially with the back bit here. I guess it's about the same size, but we're going to have to smooth off the back somehow. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I will continue the time lapse in just a second. But we do have Kenobi with his droid, and I have given them a third leg. I don't know. If I will be putting the droid in the ship, I'll probably like R2B attaching the dome on the outside. If you haven't already seen a few of my other videos, I create the third leg using this tile on one of the frying pan studs, as we call them here on the channel. The studs with the bar extended out. I think it looks really cool. It beats having the slope, which I think is a bit chunky, but there's more news following Astromex coming very, very soon with a brand new size. So stay tuned for that. And now let's get building Kenobi's Eater. By this point, my gimbal had actually died once again. I've got to get better with charging that. So I switched up the tripod and I'm recording from a different angle. If you wondered why this time lapse was a bit lower and it did make it a bit darker. But I started off with the cockpit base of the Eater. And that was purely just to get the size right and then be able to build the wings off of it. I needed to know exactly where the wings were going to be able to go. Because I'm not adding these stud shooters off of Kenobi's Delta and I don't have the flick fire missiles, it means I can build it a brick shallower than Anakin's. Well, taking a look at the finished model in front of me, I'm not sure if it finished any shorter than I expected. But in a second, you will see a cut because I completely switch around the design of the wings. And if I was to show you every time I rebuilt these wings, honestly, we would be here for pretty much the whole day. I spent way too many hours trying to just get the wings to look right. But once I was happy with how the wings were, I built it from the wings up, if that makes sense. I started off building the wings and making sure I was all right with how the wings looked because then I knew how wide I could go with the torso of this ship. It was very tricky not having that massive cockpit piece because with Anakin's Eater, especially when I was building it minifigure scout, it did get in the way and I complained a lot about it being too big. But Kenobi's is too small. I need something in the middle here. And the fact that we didn't have any dishes to cover the front for Kenobi just meant it looked like I had taken the Delta and tried to give it some ETA wings, which honestly is really all I did. So perhaps we'll get to see this in Rebuild the Galaxy. But now that I'm finishing building it, Let's take a look at the finished model. Before we get to seeing how the Kenobi Eater Starfighter looks, and by the way, if you would like to see instructions for this model, let me know down in the comments. If you don't want instructions for this model, you might as well also leave a comment. It really helps push out the video. But I'm using a new bit of software to part out these sets. And it's something that I'm using for the Bricklink store as well. Massive shout out to Kiwi Brick Exchange over on YouTube. Well, they do also have a Bricklink store if you are over in New Zealand watching this video again. Let me know down in the comments. But they pointed out a piece of software called Brick Store, which you might be familiar with. And so far, I found it to be a lot more accurate than using Bricklink. As far as I'm aware, there is some connection between the inventories on both of them. I don't know if they import the Bricklink inventories, and I've just got lucky to not find a set that's missed inventory on Bricklink, but it's really, really helpful. It tells you the categories of bricks and just everything really you could ever need to know, which isn't necessarily the easiest to find using the interface over on Bricklink. But now let's take a look at Kenobi Starfighter. So you'll notice that smaller cockpit with the pieces that we've been given really doesn't work as well as something like Anakin's cockpit over here. It just gives it a much more rounded shape and fills in the parts that aren't necessary. Though that being said, I don't think it's too bad of a stuff like this is definitely not colored to the version we see in Revenge of the Sith very well. But again, with all the piece counts, perhaps I can try and do this with my own pieces instead and 
make something better for next year. We have a few functions. The droid does fit on and the head does spin 360. You'll notice there's also a satellite dish which does clip down on the model quite easily. This was easy before I started rolling the cameras. It's just a stud connection. So this is only as hard as I'm making it. But as you can see, we can fit the little radar dish on it as well. It would be really cool if we do get this set to come with some buzz droids and of course a Kenobi from Revenge of the Sith that doesn't come with his burnt up Mustafar clothes. But the cockpit not only opens like usual, but there are a few different ways you can get Kenobi in and out of this ship because the chair he's sitting on is actually my favorite part of this build. You can open the cockpit just like so on the hinge. You can also pop the whole top bit off. And if you wanted to really get in there to show off Kenobi's seat, you could even pop off the whole, this should come with Kenobi, but you can also pop off the whole torso bit in the middle. And I guess maybe don't do that because it does seem to have broken apart the seat as well. So if we steal the seat back from Kenobi, you can see that the Technic elements holding together the wings have actually been used as part of the seats here. This is how the wings are connected together. I'm not going to show you too much detail, of course, because that defies the point of me trying to get rid of these instructions. But the headrest is also included. Very similar design to the actual Delta. I much prefer the Delta in Lego. The Eaters are just such awkward shapes. You've got all these angles on the front, which I have tried to match with not only this last model, but again, the ship we see in Revenge of the Sith. But it's turned out, it's not fragile whatsoever. You can really just swing it around by the wing. Let's see if we can swing it around by the front. Again, I wouldn't recommend this. This is dark red. It tends to be a bit more fragile than some of the other colors. The only point I wouldn't recommend swaying it around is this brick on the back. It seems that you can do it, but it is only attached on to jumper plates. So it's really not gonna be solid at all. But there's just two studs on the bottom of this top, which just clip straight back, somewhat hide the headrest for the chair, but that just makes the cockpit seem a bit more spacious when you're putting Kenobi in. You don't have to stud him down. He doesn't move around too much actually. That looks really good from a play perspective to have Kenobi rocking in the cockpit there and leaning forward as he perhaps dives down below one of the giant Venators. But this model is pretty cool. I like the way that I did these fins on the side with the two by three wedges and the two by two plates. Again, I would have loved to have them fold in, but it's just not gonna be this model. There's a reason Lego give us Pieces like this and the cockpit, the fins, the cockpit, and even that dish at the front just makes for a much better playscale model. And if you were curious to see all the pieces you would have left over, there isn't a lot to go on, especially in terms of adding a bit more detail to this set. And of course, I didn't even try to fit the droid body inside. So it might not have been a massive success today, but we did manage to build an ETA with the Starfighter. So if you don't want to go out and buy any new ones, Lego may or may not be making next year. Definitely give this a go yourself. If you want to purchase the instructions, you don't have to keep it built as it is in the instruction manual. Definitely mix a few pieces around, use parts from your own collection and see how much better you can get this ship looking, especially if you have some spare cockpit parts. Switch them around and see if you can find a better one and let me know down in the comments. But thank you so much for watching this video. I had so much fun building the model. And if you are liking the time lapses, be sure to smash like on this video. And if you just generally enjoyed the video, be sure to smash like and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next one. But that is all for today. Check out all the videos on screen now. And may the bricks be with you always.